All right, we ready? Ready. All right. Well, welcome, family and friends. Uh, <laughs> Corvid 19. <laughs> right? <laughs> what an amazing thing. But what you're seeing today and witnessing today is what the power of love will do to you. Do for you, I should say. You know, you have Melissa, William, Billy. No pandemic in the world can keep your love from each other. And this is, this is the, the true ultimate sign of it right here. You look at Proverbs, and Proverbs says, The Lord said, Let me make a woman. Let me make him a wife. Because no man shall ever roam the world alone. It's not sexist. A lot of people can look at it and say, It's sexist. Listen, it's not meant to be that way. The Lord made Melissa for you. You guys have now found each other. And as you found each other, you guys will be welcomed into the Lord's kingdom forever with the power of your love. A long time ago, I met a guy named Frank. He was a World War II vet. Uh, he survived Pearl Harbor. I met him years after his wife passed away. And he said that the greatest thing about love is not the beauty of your wife, but how she can make you breathless. It's not how many breaths you take in your life, it's how many times you remain breathless by looking at your loved one. Those words stuck with me to this day. I always share it with everyone that I meet and join in matrimony together because it's the truth. It's not how many breaths you take in life. It's not all the things you have. It's not all the shiny things. It's, it's not all the, the things you can hold. It's, it's the breath and to be breathless. Now, to be honest with you, I, I usually meet with the people I marry, you know, beforehand. You know, this is kind of fun for me because I'm really ab and shooting from the hip here, and I appreciate it. I cannot thank you guys enough for allowing me to be a part of this part of your life. This is the next journey of your life, and it is an amazing thing, and I get to be a part of that, and I can't thank you enough. So I'm sorry it's not going to go, you know, two hours or 20 minutes, or I'm not going to hold the, the, read mm -hmm. the whole darn book for you, mm -hmm. you know. But I want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much for allowing me to be a part of this. I really, really appreciate it. We appreciate you. you know. Do we got the rings? That's yours. That's right. I'm, I, I'm taking both. Okay. Now I have a little show and tell since I know the kids are out of school. A little, little question. Does anyone know why we use a ring for weddings? You know. That's one of them. Anyone else? They're all Audience left. participation? Nope. Oh, there we go. Oh, she guessed. It was great. <laughs> That's a good one. Another reason why we use the ring, so the ring has no start and no beginning. There's no alpha, no omega. It continually goes on and on forever. And that is what your love is. You don't know when it started. You'll never know when it ends. I can tell you when it's going to end, but it's kind of grim. <laughs> <laughs> but that's why we choose the ring. It's not because it has all the diamonds and pearls and gold and silver and, and precious materials to it. It's because it has no start and has no end. So, i get these mixed up. I'm make sure we get the right one. So, I'm going to put this in your hand here. Unless you're going to put out your left hand. Show me your ring finger. And Billy, I know you go by Billy, but we're going to use your real name right now. Go ahead and slip that finger on Melissa's finger. And repeat after me. I, William Kyles. I, William Kyles. With this ring of, as a token of my unwavering love and devotion. This ring, my <laughs> token of my token. own. Of unwavering love and devotion. Take you, Melissa, joy, and as my lawfully wedded wife, to cherish you in good times and the bad, to love you in sickness and health, for as long as we both shall live. Unless you accept this token, this is love. I do. <laughs> now, Melissa, repeat after me. I am Melissa Joy Hummel. I am Melissa Joy Hummel. Take you, William Kyles. Take you, William Kyles. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To be my lawfully wedded husband. See, I even skipped the line there. I screwed that up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, with this ring, as a token of my unwavering love and devotion. I, with this ring, with my... I, with this ring. I, with this ring. As a token of my unwavering love. As a token of my unwavering love. And devotion. And devotion. See, that's when I should have said, take you, 
<laughs> William Kyle. Take you, William Kyle. <laughs> As my lawfully wedded husband. As my lawfully wedded husband. To cherish you in good times and bad. To cherish you in good times and bad. And in sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For as, both as, for as long as we both shall live. So as, for as long as we both shall live. William, do you accept? See, look at that. That, that. That's so simple right there. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Should have told you after I signed it in the parking lot, we were through with it out. So I went to Burger King. You know. The Corinthians said, love is patient, love is kind, love does not envy, love does not boast. It's not proud. It's not rude. It is, it is not selfish. It is not self-seeking. It is easily agreed. Love is delightful. And we all rejoice in love and in the truth under the Lord's name. That's all I have. So legally all I have to say to you, by the powers invested by me, by the great state of Michigan, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may break the six foot barrier. <laughs> 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 Thank <laughs> you.